Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about how to delete the deploy version of SAP RFI Fury application from SAP BTP Business Technology Platform. Before we delete any SAP RFI application from cloud, we need to understand three services. The first service is STML5 application repository service, short name as STML5-SRV. Another one is destination service, destination-SRV. And the access UA service, which is authorization and trust management service. So before we delete the application, we have to delete the services associated with the apps. And before we delete the services, we need to delete the instances created inside the services. And once we delete all these things, we need to refresh the BTP cockpit. And underneath the STL5 application section, we will not see any application relevant to the one which we are going to delete. Now, before we delete our application, we need to understand what these three services does. Why do we use these services? The first service is STL5 application repository service. The STL5 application repository service is a component of SAP Business Technology Platform, which provides a runtime environment for executing STL5 application. Generally, we all are aware that STL5 application does not run on the server. STL5 applications always run in the client side, the browser. And that's the reason it requires a, an environment to run these applications. STL5 application repo host service is the one which provides that environment to a BTP deployed version of the application to run. And this service allows you to run STL5 application on the SAP BTP and provides a secure and scalable infrastructure for delivering and running the application. So that's a general overview of STL5 repo host service, STL5 application repository service. From my interview perspective, if you are a SAP RFI developer and if you give that information to the interviewer, if they ask you what are the services associated with the deployed version of the SAP RFI application, you can say there are three important services. The first one is the STL5 application repository service and you can give this description. So it is understandable and it is sufficient for the answer. Now, the another one is the destination service. The destination service is a component of SAP BTP that provides a secure and managed connection between your SAP BTP environment and external systems such as SAP S4 HANA, SAP Cloud Platform, or any other on-premise and cloud-based system. What does that mean? Client side, we can consume APIs, and the APIs provides us data. Now, these APIs are deployed in some other system. It can be S4 HANA system, it can be SAP Cloud Platform system, it can be on-premise system. So destination service is responsible to maintain a connection between the BTP environment where our applications are deployed, STL5 applications, and from where we are consuming the data, that system. So the connection between these two systems done from the destination services, by the destination services. And to, there's a destination object which contains the credentials, user information, and a lot more details. If you want to understand how destination services works, you need to read it from the official channels of the SAP. But from interview perspective, this definition is sufficient because the creation of the destination service, consume, consumption of the API is done by the security consultant. So from SAP RFI consultant, it is never asked, the interviewer never asked in detail about the destination services. If you have the general level idea about these services, this is sufficient. The third and most important service is authorization and trust management service, Access UA. The Access UA service is a SAP business technology platform component that provides user authentication and authorization service. As name suggests that it is related to the user authentication authorization. It is based on the SAP cloud platform identity and access management, IAM solution. It is based on this solution, which is already available on SAP cloud platform. It provides a secure and scalable infrastructure for managing user authentication authorization for SAP BTP application. So we can do a lot more. We can restrict a particular user. We can restrict the user for CRUD operations. We can restrict the user to doing any sort of activity in the application. So on application level, we can restrict multiple user. But again, this is a security developer work. So from SAP UIFI consultant, interviewer doesn't ask in-depth questions. They just ask, do you have a general level idea what Access UI service does? And since it is automatically created at the time of deployment of the UIFI application, so you don't have to worry much about it. But being a UIFI developer, you should have a confidence of idea that you have at least idea about these services. How does these services work? And you can read about it from the official channels of SAP. And it also has the capability of single sign-on. And if you say this line to the interviewer, then you also need to read a little bit about SSO capabilities so you can better explain them how Access UA services used for SSO, the single sign on configurations. Now we will see the practical way how we can identify these services and how we can delete it from the business technology platform. 
so we need to go to our trial account we need to click on go to your trial account inside your trial account once once we are inside our sub account we will find instances and sub subscriptions link and in the left hand side underneath the services you can find instances and subscriptions here you will find the list of subscriptions which you have subscribed the list of instances which has been created and the list of environments so inside the list of instances in a real world envi environment right now we are working in a trial account and we have only one or two applications that we are deploying but in a real world environment you will find multiple instances of different services and at that time it becomes extremely difficult to find out which instance i should delete to overcome this issue you need to click on cloud foundry and you need to go inside the spaces once we are inside a dev space once we are so there could be multiple spaces now you need to identify that our sap ufi application since you have deployed it so you can find out which dev space it is deployed right inside that dev space you need to go left hand side and of course here you can see the application as well then you go to instances now these are the instances particularly for this dev space so if our application is deployed in this dev space the supported instances would also be created here now i tell you an easy way how to identify our service we can identify service using the component name of our application if i can quickly show you in my bank detail application we have deployed this if you will go inside the web app folder you will find a file called manifest.json and underneath the sap.app section you will find the id com.sap.mybankdetails this is the component name of our application now this component name you need to identify using this component name where which is our application so if i can say com.sap.mybankdetails if i go to my trial home and inside the instances these are the instances available so i can open them one by one on the left hand side right hand side if i have clicked the one it is giving me coms hyphen sap hyphen mobile platform cards this is not our application name com hyphen sap hyphen mobile platform this is again not our application name but now the third service instance i found com hyphen sap hyphen my bank details and then it is written destination service so this is a clear understanding this is a destination service because my application component name is visible here the same component name we have here it means this is the destination service for my bank details application and we need to delete this service now if i directly try to delete the service it will not delete it because it will say couldn't delete the service instance destination service reason the instance has a service key so before we delete that instance we need to delete the associated service key as soon as we delete the associated service key then we can delete the destination service so first i will click on these three dots and i click on delete button and i will confirm that i want to delete this service key and in a fraction of second the service key would be deleted and as soon as the service key is deleted we can delete the service as well now the service key service keys are deleted there are zero service keys so now i will click on these three dots and i will delete the com hyphen sap hyphen my bank details hyphen destination hyphen service make sure the name of the application and name of the service we need to delete only three services so one i have deleted this is the destination service which is the deletion in, pro in process now i will check what is the another service these two we checked initially third one this is the fourth one again i found the component of name of my application com sap my bank details this is the stl5 service the repo host service repository service right again we need to find is there any service keys yes there are two service keys we will first delete these service keys one instance is deleted i'm deleting the another service key now the service keys are zero both these service keys are deleted now i can delete my sap hyphen com hyphen sap hyphen my bank details hyphen stl5 srv this is the repo service stl5 application repository service now this service is also deletion is in process if you will notice the destination service is deleted automatically from here because the deletion was in progress now i will check the last one okay that service is also deleted because in the in this mode if you will see you can read it from here as well in the instances you can drag and drop and you can read the complete description if you want to read you can identify them from here as well and you can click them and that's how you can reach to the same service now this is the authorization service by the component name i can identify it now first i will delete the service key delete and the service key would be deleted in a fraction of seconds and as soon as the service key is deleted then i will delete my instance of the service now the service key is deleted now i will delete the actual service instance and the, this is also deletion in progress 
if you will notice all the service instances are deleted if you will notice if i click on destination service there is no destination service if i click on authorization service there is one but it is not related to our application once we have deleted all the service instances now we will again go back to the trial account because when we run sap RFI application we run it from the stl5 application right if i click here now i will not see any application deployed i mean for our use case we deployed only one application which was available here and we were running it from this option stl5 application but since i have deleted all three service instances associated with the service the application is also not visible here anymore so that means if you delete three instances of the service the application would be deleted from the cloud platform from the business technology platform thank you so much for watching the video till end so these were the steps to delete any deployed version of sap ui application i'm your instructor navin sharma this is my email gmail.com. you can reach out to me for any query related to the courses if you want to find out the structured courses of sap ui fury and communication skills interview related courses everything is available on techtoolsindia.com website so please visit this website and if you have any query related to the subjects related to the course prices if you need any discount coupons you can reach out to me on my instagram account on tech india instagram account and i would happy to reply your queries thank you so much for your participation have a great day